So as we've been talking about orthographic uh, drawings, we can see the first thing we did is set our scale that each square is a quarter inch, which is standard on graph paper. Now we're just going to define our, define our view. So where this is going to be what we see from the top, this again is what we're going to see from that front view. And this is what we're going to see from our side view as we rotate it. Now, again, first thing I need to do is create my uh, spacing for this drawing so everything will line up from view to view. So we can see, looking at it from our top view, I'm going to go up to over two. I just like that as a standard part, and we're going to see those three squares all in a row. One, two, and three. Now here, I'm going to see two cubes coming here at the end, one and two. And that is my top view. Now, to come down onto my front view, again, what I'm gonna notice is if I go down to and over to on that front two cube, I'm sorry, uh, I'm gonna be in open space here. So what I'm gonna do is have to come down two more, which puts me right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw my square. And again, I'm gonna see three of them at this point. What you can see is I have a cube here on my front view. Now what we're gonna notice is our drawings like we talked about in the previous video are gonna line up from view to view. I'm gonna rotate this over to my side view. And again, I'm gonna start the same way, down two over two, that puts me right here. I can see I don't have a cube there. So I'm gonna go two over, which takes me to this point here. And I'm gonna draw that square. Now I'm gonna see a line of three sitting underneath there. And that's what I see from my side view. Now from my front view, we can see on this one, I'm gonna see that little channel cut, which I'm gonna erase there. And from the top here, we're gonna notice on this one right here, I'm gonna see that hole. Now, before we get into dimensionings, the first thing we're going to talk about is hidden lines. So this hole is on the top. One of the things we need to know is, does it go all the way through? So that's what our hidden lines are going to do. So what we're going to do is show that this hole is drilled all the way through. You're going to notice from here, if we look at it from the front, we're going to see those hidden lines showing us it goes all the way through. If we come over here, that same stack, we're gonna see those same hidden lines just from the different perspective. So this shows us the depth of our hole. Again, if it was only through this one, we would realize that it was only halfway through. Now, if we also take a look at our channel cut, that's this cube right here, we're gonna see that our channel cut goes all the way through. If we also look from our uh, side view, that channel cut is going to be seen on this square right here. And we are going to be looking at it from the side. So what we're going to see is that hidden line in the top. That other hidden line would go through the object line here. So that's why we don't see it there. So this would be our drawing with hidden lines on it. Again, this allows us to determine how these features actually are. And we can see uh, their depths and things of that nature. Now, what we're gonna do is stick to the same thing we've been doing, and that is defining our parts. Again, in the top view, width is generally best seen. So we're gonna come here, we're gonna measure our total length. Now, if we take a look, it's six squares. According to our scale, that's 1.5 inches. Now, we have a feature right here that we should dimension as well. So we're gonna come here where it starts, and where it ends, this would be 0.5. I don't need to measure this because that, by default, I know is an inch. So I need to use my center lines here. So I'm gonna go short, long, and I'm gonna go short, long. Now, what I'm gonna see is 
This is three squares to the center of it. So that's gonna be 0.75 inches to the center of my circle. It's one square to the center from here, which would be 0.25. Now I also need to know the diameter of my circle. So I'm gonna use my lead line out on a 45 degree angle, flat, circle with a line through it, which means diameter. And that is a quarter inch or 0.25 inch diameter circle. Now we're gonna come down to our front view. And again, I'm gonna measure from my start to my finish, it's six cubes. So that gives me a length of 1.5. Now, I'm also gonna to have to measure where this feature is. So I'm gonna go from the start to the side. I can notice that's three cubes, that's 0.75 inches. I also need to know the size of my feature, which is one cube, which is 0.25. So that gives me everything I need to know to build that view here now. The problem is, I can't see my height in my side view, so I have to go here and come through my drawing with that lead line to measure the height of this, which is 0.25 inches. Now, from the side here, I'm gonna measure my height, start to where I'm gonna finish my measurement. This is two cubes, so I know that this is one inch. Now I can use my reflective property to realize that this is a half inch uh, as well. I can then define this feature as 0.5 inches, which then we can see because everything lines up with these hidden lines on my drawings here, it's easy to track those measurements across.